हेलो बच्चो लेट सीट द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन कैलकुलेट द अमाउंट ऑफ चार्ज ऑन कैपेसिटी ऑफ फोर माइक्रोफेरेट द इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ बैटरी इज वन ओ सो विल सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विल सी वट विल बी द की कंसेप्ट इज टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन द की कंसेप्ट दैट विल बी यूज टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी इन स्टडी स्टेट इन स्टडी स्टेट देर विल बी नो करेंट in the upper branch of the circuit there will be no current in the upper branch of the circuit and this will be because the capacitor did not allow to pass dc current through it and we have a purely dc supply so the upper branch of the circuit will fully behave as capacitive circuit the upper branch will be fully capacitive circuit so this will be the fully capacitive circuit so we can neglect 6 ohm resistor so that will be 4 ohm then there will be Two ohm resistor, two two ohm resistors, and there will be a five volt battery. Then there will be a resistance of one ohm, and then there will be a resistance of four ohm. This is the internal resistance of the battery, and this is the so this is five volt. So net current I will be equal to. Net resistance that is five ohm because these two resistance are in series and resistance in series is given by R one plus R two, so that will be five by five volt that is EMF of the battery divided by net resistance that is five ohm, so that will be one ampere. Now we will calculate the net capacitance of the upper branch of the circuit. So net capacitance that will be equal to when two capacitors are connected in series, then C S that is series capacitance is given by C one into C two by C one plus C two. So and when two capacitors are connected in parallel, then equivalent capacitance C three is given by C one plus C two. So these two are connected in parallel. So equivalent capacitance C three will be equal to four microfarad. And these four and these four are connected in series. So C equivalent that will be equal to four into four by four plus four. That is equal to sixteen by eight. That is two microfarad. So this will be the net capacitance C equivalent. So we will calculate the charge. So charge will be equal to now. Before that, we will calculate delta V, that is potential drop across the capacitor. So, if this is I flowing, this is I. So, potential drop across these two points will be equal to E minus I into R, where R will be equal to one ohm. So, that will be equal to five minus I one into R is one ohm. So, that will be equal to four volt. So, this is potential drop. Therefore, charge. Q is given by C delta V, so that will be equal to net capacitance is two microfarad multiplied by four volt, that is eight microcoulomb. So this will be the charge on the capacitor plate. That will be eight microcoulomb, which is option D. So this will be the correct option. Hope you all understood it well. Best of luck.